Hello, my name is Spencer, and I began Starfield with few to no expectations, which I believe has been beneficial to assessing the game. You should know that I'm making these videos without referencing other videos. I have tried to stay away f from what anybody else is saying about the game. I have seen some things that point towards people liking some parts of the game but saying it's flawed. I want to figure these things out by myself. That's important to me. What I'm going to do is make this video first, giving you my takeaways so far at about 27 hours in. Then, because this is such a large game with plenty of things going on, I'm going to make multiple videos down the road looking more deeply into gameplay mechanics such as outposts and what they do, landing on planets at random sites and what sort of locations and activities are available and the variety of them, building multiple ships and sending crew out to do things and any other ideas I have for videos. That will be how I do this. To begin, let's talk about improvements and things I don't like and then end on what I do like. I would prefer to end on something positive. The first thing is the encumbrance system. You have a limit on how much mass you can carry. This can be increased through skills and equipment, but early on you can't pick up much. I do not like it. It's annoying to deal with, it adds nothing to the game because when you show up to any location, there are many items you can pick up planet side or on a space station. Much of it is junk, potted plants, desk fans, notepads, markers, folders, etc. In a game that emphasizes loot, having a small carry limit is detrimental. You have a few remedies for this. Take a companion with you and ask them to carry things for you. Focus on upgrading your character to carry more, or upgrade your gear to hold more, or just get different gear. By default, regardless of your skills and gear, the amount of mass you can carry should be increased. I'm sitting at 135 currently at level 13, and I max that out easily. Related to encumbrance are all the items you can pick up when you go anywhere. It's a lot of garbage that isn't worth much or anything at all when you sell it. You have to search and sift through to find what you want. When you press F on, on the keyboard, that opens your scanner, which highlights things you can pick up, which is nice. The solution would be to eliminate all the non-essentials from the scanner, or better yet, just have papers and pens and stuff like that as decorations, but you can't pick them up. Or let me change what is highlighted on my scanner to not include things I don't care about. There are too many garbage items, it's not fun to look through it all, and it's fluff. It adds nothing to the game. The biggest grievance I have with the game is the crafting. It is multi-leveled. You have to research things before you can make them, which is fine. Plenty of games have a research mechanic. It does require you to obtain the right items, which can be laborious. Thankfully, any research projects or items you want to craft can be tracked. When you're out in the field, a little magnifying glass appears next to the item name so you know that is something you need. This can assist you with encumbrance, avoiding items that you don't need. Once the project is researched, you will need additional items to craft it. I find this tedious. From what I have seen, you can buy healing items like food, med kits, ammo, and some crafting components. I don't know if you can get away with not crafting at all. I do find weapons that already have mods. Some are useful, some are not. I don't have to craft, but it's luck of the, of the draw whether I find something I want. 
Something that I find to be a massive oversight is not having access to a vehicle on planets. You must walk everywhere, which is slow, while avoiding wild animals that might attack you. It should be that whatever type of ship you're flying, there's always a standard issue hover bike to help you traverse planets. You can upgrade it, purchase or craft a different one, but there should always be one available to you. It sucks to walk everywhere and it's time consuming. This is silly that it's not in the game. And it would have to be a hover bike or even use your own ship to fly low and land closer to where you want to be. A vehicle with wheels, given how rocky and uneven many of the planet's surfaces are, would get stuck on things constantly. I don't want that. Now we can talk about some things that I actually do like. The ship building. I love the ship builder. I unfortunately don't have any footage of when I was making the ship that I made, but the first one that I made was a replacement for the Frontier. It's still called the Frontier. I only have this image for you. This behemoth of a ship. I love it, but I'm gonna rebuild it. The first time I used it, I had so much fun with it. I'm only working with the basics, but there are more parts and variations that can be unlocked. But I made that massive ship with lots of cargo space, plenty of rooms with crafting tables. And like I said, I'm gonna refigure it again and rebuild it, but I think the shipbuilder is great. You can make so many different types of ships different shapes, styles, colors. I cannot wait to build multiple ships in different styles. I love it. I personally like how the gunplay feels. It's not on the same level as Titanfall 2, Borderlands 2, and say what you want. I like how the guns feel and handle in Call of Duty games. They felt good in 2019 Modern Warfare. Starfield doesn't stand out, but I don't see any glaring issues with it. There is one thing, and that is grenades tend to be thrown shorter than I'm expecting them to, so maybe adding a throwing arc would be helpful for that. I need to look more into this, but when you land on a planet at some random landing site, there'll be typically several different icons that pop up along your horizon which indicate locations that you can visit. But I, I found this secret cryo lab at one of those locations, and I didn't expect to find one there. I was on a desert planet, or a biome I believe, somewhere dry, but underground there was a large, rather large facility. There were some me messages on a computer between colleagues about the facility being unstable, maybe it should be shut down to be given a safety check or something like that. There were no NPCs, but there were a lot of bandits there. I had already cleared them out at this point and was just looting. Maybe a scientist was alive behind one of the locked doors I couldn't open, but I did enjoy finding this. It would have been nice to have one NPC at least that I can talk to to fill in backstory about what this lab is and what happened, or more descriptive messages on the computer. Something that adds a little more to this random find. The story is interesting. I don't feel wowed by it, but it's not boring either. You are recruited into a group called Constellation, whose primary objective is exploring and discovering things. You find an artifact which nobody knows where it came from or how many pieces of it there are, but they're spread out across the galaxy. I don't know what happens when you collect all of them and put them together. I'm certainly interested 
to know about this and where it goes. There is a lot of ground to cover with Starfield. It is a big game. Uh, you can expect multiple vi mul that. multiple videos from me in the coming weeks. It will take a while, but I want to dig deeper into this one. In the meantime, if you're interested in trying to help support me, I do have a Patreon page. It's $1 a month. That's the only tier that there is. I don't have anything else to offer for you, unfortunately. I work a lot. But every dollar helps me gain a little bit more financial security and maybe can turn this into, you know, something that's somewhat lucrative. Regardless, I'm going to keep making the videos anyway, but that's there. If you want it, I'll leave the link to the Patreon page down below. Uh, I will see you next time. I have plenty of other videos in the pipeline, but this one is kind of taking over everything right now. But there, there are other videos that I'm working on. So thank you for watching.